From the shiny, rainbow-like Boland's python in New Guinea to the bright green Maltinus geckos in New Zealand's forests, we're taking a fun tour through the world of some super rare reptiles. We'll also check out Australia's rugged shingleback skink and sneak a peek at the elusive Borneo Erlus monitor. These critters aren't just cool to look at, they're like little mysteries of nature, making them real treasures for anyone who loves wildlife. Boland's Python Known as one of the most extraordinary snakes, the Boland's Python is sometimes called the Holy Grail of Snakes due to its unique and stunning appearance. Its body is covered in shiny black scales that reflect light, creating a rainbow-like effect that catches the eye of anyone lucky enough to see it. These snakes are rare and hard to find in their natural home in New Guinea, making them even more special to snake lovers and collectors. These snakes are incredibly hard to spot in the wild because they are very secretive and stay hidden. This makes them not only a challenge to find, but also to study and protect. When people manage to keep them in zoos or private collections, it is even rarer to successfully breed them. Because of this, whenever breeding is successful, it becomes a significant event celebrated by reptile enthusiasts worldwide. The combination of their rare sightings, the difficulty of breeding, and their captivating appearance makes the Boland's python a highly valued member of any reptile collection. Their mysterious nature and the challenges associated with their conservation and care add to their fascination over enthusiasts making any encounter with them a memorable and cherished experience. These pythons are adapted to high humidity and low light conditions, frequently found on the forest floor, but also capable climbers, suggesting some degree of arboreal activity. They feed on a variety of small mammals, birds, and occasionally lizards, reflecting their role as apex predators in their ecosystem. Naltinus geckos Take a walk through the lush green forests of New Zealand and you might be lucky enough to spot an Altinus gecko. These geckos are like small bright green jewels that light up the trees they live in, making them a beautiful sight. They look as though they are part of the very essence of the forest, with their vibrant green colors and unique patterns that make each one look like a piece of natural artwork. These geckos are not just beautiful, they are also quite rare especially outside of New Zealand. This rarity is partly because of the strong conservation efforts in their homeland that protect them from being removed or harmed. This makes seeing a Naltinus gecko even more special, as they are typically only found in their natural environment. There are nine different species of the Naltinus gecko, and each one has its own unique look and style. This variety shows just how diverse the wildlife in New Zealand can be, particularly its reptiles. Each species offers a different view into the colorful and fascinating world of these tree-dwelling geckos. Because they are so rare and beautiful, Naltinus geckos are highly sought after by reptile enthusiasts worldwide. Their unique appearance and the challenge of spotting them in their natural habitat add to their appeal. Those who are passionate about wildlife and conservation value these geckos not only for their beauty, but also for what they represent in the efforts to preserve and protect natural environments. Seeing a Naltinus gecko is about observing a rare creature and experiencing a living piece of New Zealand's rich natural heritage. Shingleback Skink As you wander through Australia's rugged and diverse terrains, you might spot the shingleback skink, a lizard that looks like it's from another era. Locally known as the stumpy-tailed, or pinecone lizard, because of its unique look, it's really something special. Its body is short and stout, covered with rough scales that look a lot like a pinnacone. These scales aren't just for looks, they serve as natural armor, a fantastic example of how nature protects its creatures. Shingleback skinks aren't seen very often. They need just the right conditions to survive, and there are strict Australian laws that protect them from being taken out of the country. These laws help prevent too many of them from being collected and make sure their numbers stay healthy. Also, breeding shingleback skinks is pretty tough. They're different from most other lizards because they stick with the same partner for life. 
This loyalty makes it hard to breed them in captivity, since they don't easily pair up with a new mate. These lizards are not only remarkable for their rugged armored appearance and vivid blue tongues, but also for their unusual monogamous nature, often staying with a single partner for years. This loyalty along with their ability to give live birth rather than laying eggs, uncommon among reptiles, adds to their intrigue. They inhabit various Australian regions, thriving in both arid and semi-arid environments, where they adapt by storing fat in their tails for energy during lean periods. Despite their tough exterior, they face threats from predators like birds of prey and introduced species such as foxes and cats. Overall, the shingleback skink is a resilient and low-maintenance pet that offers a unique glimpse into the complexity of reptilian life. Borneo Erlis Monitors Deep within the moist and thick rainforests of Borneo, there is a creature so hard to find and so unusual that people often call it the miniature dragon. This creature is the Borneo Erlis Monitor. Its scales resemble a dragon's, and its body appears as if it has been shaped from the rocks and foliage of its jungle surroundings. Seeing one of these monitors is truly a memorable moment. These unique reptiles get their name from their very small ears, which are almost impossible to see because they are covered by skin. This feature adds to their mysterious and legendary look, making them even more intriguing. The Borneo Erlis monitors secretive behavior and the dense, jungle environment it prefers make it extremely rare to find, especially in captivity. The Borneo Erlis monitor's rarity makes every sighting or successful capture a notable event, especially for reptile collectors and enthusiasts. These collectors consider finding and owning the miniature dragon to be one of the ultimate achievements in reptile collection. For those interested in reptiles, the Borneo Erlis monitor is not just another lizard, it symbolizes a significant challenge due to its elusive nature and the difficult conditions of its natural habitat. Capturing or even spotting one of these creatures requires patience, perseverance, and a deep understanding of the environment in which they thrive. Moreover, the fascination with these creatures extends beyond their rarity. Their dragon-like appearance captivates the imagination, linking them to mythical creatures from folklore and fantasy. This not only makes them prized possessions, but also subjects of study and wonder in the scientific community. Observing their behaviors and understanding their survival mechanisms can provide insights into evolutionary adaptations and ecological balances within their rainforest ecosystem. Fly River Turtle Deep within the river systems of Papua New Guinea, there lives a creature that seems to have emerged from an ancient, mysterious water world a world filled with beings that boast both unusual and magnificent features. This creature is known as the Fly River Turtle, but it is also endearingly referred to as the pig Nose Turtle due to its distinctively shaped snout, which closely resembles that of a pig. This turtle, with its unique snout and flipper-like, webbed feet, appears almost mythical, resembling a miniature sea turtle that one might imagine navigating the vast expanse of the ocean. The Fly River Turtle is not just a curiosity, it is a true wonder of the natural realm. Its unique physical adaptations make it an intriguing subject for research and admiration. Among reptile enthusiasts, the desire to own such a turtle is strong, as its unusual appearance connects to the natural world's exotic and lesser understood facets. Yet this turtle is more than just a potential pet. It is an adept swimmer in deep rivers and an integral part of complex ecosystems, thriving under specific environmental conditions that are challenging to duplicate outside of its native habitat. Securing a fly river turtle is rare and considered a privilege, mainly because of its need for particular habitat conditions and its designation as a protected species. The complexities involved in its care and the responsibility required to ensure its health and well-being demand significant dedication. For those fortunate enough to witness or care for one of these turtles, it offers a gateway to understanding diverse aquatic life forms and the fragile equilibrium of river ecosystems. Which of these rare reptiles do you think should not be kept in captivity and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
If you found this exploration as thrilling as we did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more.